Tuesday. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm done with classes already because I only got one class on Tuesday and it's drama lit. And today the class is really jokes. Um, took a quiz. I think I think I did okay. I, I never know on these things. Let's get into it. Questions. What song would I unmake from all of history? And I think if I could unmake anything, I would just go ahead and unmake an entire musical, and that would be 1776. It is the most pointless, boring, unoriginal musical I've ever, ever heard. You want to share thoughts as to why it's sucks? Yes, well, I actually gave her the idea. I'm Colin, by the way. Just um, ignore... You can feel free to ignore me, whatever. But basically, we were just talking about it, and she just complains about how it goes on forever. But, like, I'll let her finish. I disagree with it, though. I actually think it's kind of awesome. Sorry. It has an hour 45 first act and an hour second act. It sucks. So I would just unmake 1776, okay? Okay. Next question. Would I rather be nine people's favorite thing or a hundred people's ninth favorite thing? I'd be a hundred people's ninth favorite thing. Reason for that is if I was nine people's favorite things, that'd be, that'd be a lot to deal with. That'd be a lot of people I'd have to always be pleasing and stuff. You know, that's a lot of expectations. I'd rather I'd rather have a lot of people kind of like me than, like, one person really like me. Um, then I could have a hundred people that are like, oh, yeah, Lena, hey, just ninth favorite thing. And, you know, Veronica, you left the question open-ended, so I could still be a hundred people's ninth favorite thing and still be at least one person's favorite thing, right? Like, you didn't specify, so loophole. Oh, what would I compromise? It's bad, but I know I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to compromise homework eventually. I have to ask question. Just gonna sneak this one in surreptitiously, but here on my wall I have uh, Monet and, and Charles Lee. So I wanted to know who your favorite uh, artist is. I also have a second question that you're gonna hate. Um, what do you guys feel about Sarah Palin as McCain's pick? We need to start talking about politics. I just want you all to know that my word of the day is tryst. So I know this is a little innocuous, but I haven't really talked about anything yet in this video. I just answered questions and asked a question. So I'm just going to show you some of the comestibles I have sitting around in my room. Got some Honey Nut Cheerios, which I haven't opened yet um, because I don't have milk. Also for breakfast, I got these special K bars, which I've been eating like there's no food left in the world. They're hella good. And I got me some Pop-Tarts. And if you know me, I, I don't I don't really eat Pop-Tarts, especially not the brown sugar cinnamon ones, but my friends eat Pop-Tarts, and I steal all their food all the time, so I think I'm going to donate this to them. Uh, I got, my mom gave me these petite écoliers. I don't like them. I'll donate them to the homeless. I got chocolate-covered pistachios, which um, are kind of good. One of the good things about pistachios is the saltiness of them. And dark chocolate pistachios aren't salty. They're sweet. Popcorn. Duh. And I already ate a bag of pistachios, and it's been a week and a half, and I've already eaten six Easy Macs. Oh, besides having two questions, I also wanted to challenge you guys. And your challenge is going to be you have to have another person in your video. And it has to be someone who hasn't been in any video before. So Emily, like your roommate is out and Veronica, your roommate technically is still in. You can show her because you haven't shown her yet. And feel free to talk about the comestibles you have in your room. That's what I go to school for. What was my other question? What was the other question? What was the other thing I had to answer? to keep cheese. <laughs>